Hi everyone and welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about uh, LibreOffice Calc uh, data sources um, for uh, Matomo Analytics. The idea is to provide an alternative to Google Data Studio. Uh, for the sake of this video, I really would like to uh, thank my friend uh, Jean-Michel, uh, owner at uh, 2Z2L, who is uh, an expert in uh, LibreOffice Calc and who take the time of explaining me um, about uh, data sources within uh, LibreOffice Calc. So uh, what we have here is that uh, we have a LibreOffice Calc in which uh, we would like to insert data coming from uh, Matomo Analytics uh, within it in order to do data visualization. The issue with Matomo Analytics is that the uh, data feed which are getting out of uh, Matomo Analytics are directly uh, the result of uh, request which generate the CSV. So to say it's not a CSV in itself. So uh, the thing that we would like uh, to do here is that we would like to host uh, the file which is uh, generated by a given server executing this given request, hosting uh, the given CSV in order to call it afterward. I'm not going to develop much the part dealing with the uh, server generation of the CSV. All I did is that I downloaded this uh, file out of this request. I uploaded it on my server uh, that you can see over here. The feed that CSV is the result of uh, the file coming out of this request. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to explain how I get in fact this given file out of uh, the out of uh, LibreOffice Calc. So let's get started. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create uh, what we call a data source. So for this, I will, uh, if I remember well, I will go over here. I will go within a uh, data source. I think that's one way to do it. And I go within a registered database. I'm going to create a new database. Here's expect uh, to have the file of the database. So in my case, this file is the following one. So it's the location of of my server, so it's uh, .net slash data and uh, that's feed dot csv. Okay, so that's what I have over here is the file which is located over here. That's that's my file. So I go back over here. I'm gonna give a name. I'm gonna call it like uh, Matomo Matomo V5. Okay, Matomo V5. I'm gonna click here on OK. Uh, does not exist in local file system. Okay, so it means that I was at the wrong place. So I'm going to go over here, data, uh, do, do, do. hold on, uh, file, do, do. wizard, sorry, file. so it's wizard, address, uh, data source, then other external data source, then I move forward, then I click here on settings, then what kind of file I'm going to download is a spreadsheet, and here I need to paste my file like this. Then I can test uh, the connection. The connection is fine. So this is where the CSV, for some reason, there is a bug here, which means that I cannot click on finish. So if I go like this, this is fine. Then I can finish. Then file assignment, I don't need it. Then I can click on next. Then here I need to change the name of, uh, so here I'm going to call it Matimo V because it's going to be Matomo v5 and then Matomo v5. Okay, so now I can click on finish. And then what's happening right now is that if I click over here and if I click on table, it should have fetch my uh, data feed, which is on my server, with then all the different data that I wanted. And now I can just go over here, click, uh, I think it's... Um, insert then it's chart um, no I think I got it wrong uh, so that's not the part it's I want to insert a pivot table pivot table then it's data sources okay and I can select my data source which is the number five then there's only the data field and then I'm all good so over here now I can select my date I can select my visit and I can get uh, my um, my uh, data chart, my uh, table, and then from here I can in fact uh, create my chart, which now gonna be uh, so it's uh, like this, this, 
next uh, then uh, visit evolution visit evolution and finish end of the story so now it's it's pretty cool because it means that this uh, given graph this one I can act on it and I can uh, I can make it dynamic exactly like it will be in uh, Google Data Studio so to say that yep so I can select here um, do like a custom custom sort where I can just make sure why it's not uh, working the way I want over here but I can definitely just select the date that I want to pick up and then um, I'm gonna pick them up so let's okay anyway if i just select like three of those then it's gonna automatically adapt it exactly like i wanted and that's everything that i wanted to show you that this video is about explaining you that the path to make it as google data studio is not that big um, i mean the data source is kind of one of the key huge thing that uh, you need to um, understand so the possibility to go and fetch a file which is located somewhere else in order to make it available as a data source within LibreOffice Calc and then you can play with the different set of data in order to, to create exactly what you want. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.